So, um, the re- so uh, the reason why I know what date it is is because DirecTV is supposed to come to my fucking house on the 31st now. I put out a little bit of a hot freestyle on, on my Instagram, my Twitter, and my YouTube uh, <clears throat> about how I was feeling about DirecTV and my troubles with DirecTV now. Is DirecTV the worst customer service on the planet? Yes, it is. It's the worst customer service on the planet. You would get better customer service from a hooker crack whore. You know? You'd be like, where is she? She was supposed to be here and give me some crack and a blowjob, but she's not reliable. And you'd be like, well, at least we're not dealing with DirecTV. Uh, apparently, ever since DirecTV merged with AT&T, AT&T said fuck it and just want to get a bunch of new customers and not keep the pre-existing customers happy. I don't know what the deal is. What I do know is I've called DirecTV like they're my fucking ex-girlfriend. Like they're my ex-girlfriend and we're just trying to fucking salvage what we have left, but we can't. I'm calling them too much. And they're not calling back, which is another thing why they're like my ex-girlfriend. Okay? That sucks. <clears throat> um, and it's absolutely fucking ridiculous. Because they're supposed to come. Let me just break down the fucking story for you guys. Okay, babies? Look, here's <clears throat> what is going on. <clears throat> Am I clearing my throat too much? Yeah. <coughs> is it because it's that time of year? Yeah. Is it coming from my throat and my fucking, the post-nasal? Yeah. Did I put creamer in my coffee, which I never do, and it activated a little bit more this morning? Yes. Are we going to get through it? Yeah. But, um, yeah, so I want two extra boxes of fucking direct TV. Now, here's what we're not going to do, okay, motherfuckers? Nobody's going to say, whoa, first world problems. We're not going to do that. Do you know why? Because you're listening to this podcast. Therefore, you're in the first world, okay? Nobody's listening to the podcast in a fucking hut. So don't be such a fucking, you know, I, when people say that kind of shit, it drives me nuts. Whoa, first world problems. Because you're only saying that on the internet, which means you're in the first world. You're commenting it under a YouTube vid, you're in the first world. Okay? So I, uh, all my problems are first world problems. You know why? I'm in the first world, baby. So anyway, I called um, DirecTV. Now, already, I don't want to. So, DirecTV, you better make it easy. Now, do they make it easy? No. Why don't they make it easy? Because they already have me as a customer. They don't think I'll cancel. What they don't know is your boy will cancel. And your boy will go to dish. Your boy will take the dish off the top of the fucking house, and he will bring it down in the front yard, leave it there, and have a guy drive by and pick it up. I don't give a fuck. Is it going to cost me money? Doesn't matter. We're out here to prove a point. Plus, my, my Brinks trucks. <laughs> ah. So, I mean, we all know which direction they go. What? So I call the fucking DirecTV guy now. Let's do a guess. Does he speak English well? <sighs> you already know. All right? So, hello, how are you doing? Uh, we'll talk to, um, hello, this is a DirecTV. Okay, yeah, cool. We're first of all, I want to see really value you as a customer. Stop right there. You don't need to tell me how much you value me as a customer because you actually aren't DirecTV. You're just a guy they hired. You don't give a fuck. You have your own family. You go home and you forget about my phone call. And that's fine, dude. That is absolutely fine. So don't say the fucking transcript shit. Don't say the shit that they tell you to say. I'm a person. You purse. Let's do this. Okay. And he says, oh, um, so what's the problem? What's going on? I said, I just want two boxes. And he says, okay. Uh, now, oh, let me give you a fucking backstory. The guy, when they first showed up and gave me the first boxes, they came up. The first guy that came, big Samoan type looking dude, comes in. Hey, what's up? I said, oh, hey, yeah, I'm, I need to put boxes over here. And he says, oh, I can't do that if the guy's not here, if your video audio guy isn't here. I said, really? And he said, yeah. I said, okay, so can you come? When can you come next time? He said, Fr- uh, Friday. I said, that's perfect. That's when my video audio guy's coming. Oh. <gasps> And he said, okay. I said, can you make the appointment? And he said, sure. I said, can you make it right now in front of me? And he said, sure. He pulled up his little bullshit thing that looked like a Palm Pilot. Hey, DirecTV, you using Palm Pilots? And he fucking plugged it in. He said, cool. Appointment's all set for Friday. I said, oh, great. He said it to my face. I looked in his eyes. 
And this Samoan guy said it to my face. So he left. Friday. Ah, what the fuck? You guessed it. The video audio guy was the only guy that showed up. The fucking direct TV guy didn't show up. So when the video audio guy showed up, I asked him. And I said, hey, man, they said that they couldn't do it without you. And he said, oh, that's bullshit. They do it all the time. And I said, huh. So not only did he lie and was he a lazy fucko, he's not here when he said he would be. So they came the next day and did it. A new, a new guy, a different guy came, did it without the video and audio guy and still did it. So that first guy is lying. All right. So now everybody's a goddamn liar at DirecTV so far I've dealt with, except for the new guy. So now I'm already pissed when I'm calling. So I call him up and I say, hey, I need two boxes. And he says, okay. I say, send me the confirmation. And he says, okay, we can send a confirmation. I said, uh, can you, he said, what's the email? Can I send it to? I said, why don't you just text it to me? So I get it right now. And he says, okay, can do it right now, but we'll get it to you in the hour. I said, so to be clear, you're texting me. I said, what's my phone number? He told me my phone number. I said, so be clear, you're texting me this confirmation in one hour. And he said, yes. I said, great. So we'll have it in one hour. And if I don't, I'll call back. And he says, okay. Now the video, now the, the, the call was, was already, uh, by the way, they, they record all these call for, for fucking whatever purpose they record these bullshits for. You need to fucking listen to these back again. Okay. Anyway, I wait, I sit and I fucking wait. I literally sit and I wait for one hour. The second the hour goes by, I check my fucking texts. Absolutely nothing. Just texts from fuck ups, friends. Family members. So I call them immediately and I get, guess what? A new person, which is highly fucking annoying. (gasps) Ah, but I get it. Okay. So now it's a female. All good. A little bit better to deal with. Can I understand a word she's saying? No. So she's saying, I I explain to her what I just explained to you, what happened. And she says, okay, well, we'll send you, uh, we'll make sure that the thing I, oh, wait, the first guy I fucking told, I said, hey, I need a guy to come out Thursday. And he says, okay, well, let me check. Uh, Okay, well, earliest I could come is Saturday. I said, oh, no, we can't do that. He's got to come Thursday. He says, well, unfortunately, um, we can't have it, um, we can't have it uh, Saturday. Uh, we can't have it Thursday. We have to have it Saturday. I said, ah, we'll see. Uh, what you got to do is you got to move some stuff around. I don't really care what you do, but guys got to come Thursday. How's that sound? And the guy says, well, let me check. Um, okay. So we can have them come Thursday. So now, now I'm pissed because he could have done it. What changed in the last second? Just me saying, no, do it. All right. So now he said all that. I didn't get the confirmation. So all, okay, now I'm calling up now a flash, flashback, no flashback, far, back forward to the fucking lady. So now I'm talking, I said, yeah, can you do the thing? I didn't get the fucking confirmation text. And she says, oh, okay, um, I don't know why you didn't get it, but uh, we, can, we can guarantee you get a confirmation text within 24 hours. And I said, well, now the first guy said I could get it in an hour, but you're telling me I can't get it in an hour, I have to get it in 24 hours? And she says, yes. I said, well, why'd that first guy tell me one hour? And she says, I don't know. Because you're not the fucking guy. That's why. Because you're not the fucking guy. You're a different person. And this is how you do it. You keep pawning people off until you fucking, the guy gives up. But I'm not giving up, man. Oh, I don't give up, dude. I'm not giving up. So I say, okay. So you're telling me, to be clear, in 24 hours, I'm going to have an email. And it's going to tell me that you're coming Thursday. And she says, yes, absolutely. I said, what's your name? She says her name. I don't remember it now. Meant to remember it. So it's okay. I wait. Now I, do, I go about my day. I sit. I eat. I sleep. I fucking wake up in the morning. And I'm waiting. I'm waiting. 1 p.m. I'm waiting. Because that's 24-hour mark. Guess what? The 24-hour mark goes by. No fucking text. No text. I check my email. I get an email. Guess what the email says? The email says, a guy will be at your place from noon to four, anytime in between there. And get this, it says he's coming today, the day I get the email. Now, we are five days away from Thursday. The confirmed goddamn place that they were coming today. This is when I get the email. 1210. He's coming from 12 to 4 today. 
I get the email at 12.10. So already, 10 minutes, and I'm not home. I never said, nobody said shit about today. Nobody said fucking shit about anybody coming today. Nobody said shit about it. Me, her, guy, nobody said shit. Guess what your boy does? On his phone. I never typed the thing faster. I go into recent calls. Clear. Uh, uh, fucking hit it. Um, and then I fucking get a new guy. And I, and I explain to him everything I just explained to you babies. Okay? And I say, <clears throat> I want a fucking email confirming you're coming Thursday. And I want it now. And he says, well, unfortunately, I can't send you an email. That's not my jurisdiction. I said, okay, when can I get the email? Now, this is Saturday. He says, um, ASAP is all I can say. I say, okay, ASAP. So uh, now I sit and I wait. Sunday rolls around, no email. Sunday night. I'm getting so pissed. No email. So I start firing off a few tweets. I start firing off a tweet, threatening I'm going to Dish, threatening I'm only going to use Netflix, threatening I'm using Hulu, threatening I'm using PlayStation, threatening I'm going to get a fucking streaming service from Keurig. I don't give a fuck, okay? They, my, my phone rings. It's an 800 number. My, fu- my fucking phone, ri- my phone rings. Don't know the fucking thing. Pick it up. Oh, hello. That's all I hear. I say, yeah, who's this? La 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 I say, la la I hear Direct TV. I said, are you from Direct TV? And he says, yes. I say, are you calling me? He says, well, la 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 Twitter, la 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 la. He's, yo, have you ever had Direct TV call you out of the fucking blue? It was amazing. So I say, listen, man, I you. He called me because I started tweeting, and in there, they're in my DMs. Oh, what's your account number? We need to pull it up. We need to know your account number to this and that. You don't need to know shit, dude. You know who the fuck I am. I'm tweeting. I got my account number. I got it all. It's all there. I'm not telling another fucking bot. I got to call a fucking bot. I got to call a bot now. I dealt with three people. They didn't know what the fuck they were doing. Now I got to tell a Twitter on bot. My fucking. You got the calls recorded, man. You record them for fucking purposes. Ah. Go in there, see what the fucking problem is. Are you coming Thursday? No confirmation email. I say, check my fucking account. I'm at dinner with my my fucking family. Check my fucking account. You coming? The guy says, I can see there is an appointment where we are coming Thursday. I say, great. Still no, no email. Still no email. But they're coming. They told me, dude. Now, let me tell you. When I get, this is unbelievable that they said that they fucking work. When I get off this podcast, you better fucking believe I'm calling the direct TV and I'm calling them and I'm asking them for a fucking, dude, I'm calling them every goddamn day until Thursday. And if you, if you think I'm, if you think I'm telling you bullshit, then you are fucking absolutely out to lunch, dude. I can't wait to, I want to be annoyed. I want to be annoyed. If you're going to play this game, I'm going to be annoyed. And you're dealing with this motherfucker. And I'm so happy with situations like this that I have 800,000 Twitter followers and fucking 1.4 million uh, Instagram followers. That's why I had to put the hottest freestyle out on my fucking Instagram talking about DirecTV. And YouTube. It's on YouTube, dude. I'm shutting DirecTV down. If you're, if you're not, by the way, if you don't show up Thursday, oh, it's it. That's it. That's it, dude. I'm putting out a fucking album, dude. I'm doing, I'm, I'm, I'm putting together a fucking well-crafted comedy bit and doing it on stage and opening my next special with it. That's what I'm doing. If you don't show up Thursday and I'm switching to Dish. Uh, matter of fact, if you don't come, I'm taking all the dish employees out to dinner, dude. That's what I'm doing. And I'm whining and dining them, and I'm going to make fucking love to them, dude. And they're going to want to. And now I'm going to show them a fucking beautiful time. And we're going to have a great relationship. Oh, me and all the dish employees. I don't give a fuck if they're guys or girls. It's not a gay or straight thing. 
it's a fucking retaliation thing to you motherfuckers on DirecTV. Because I don't fuck around with this shit, dude. If I make an appointment with somebody and we say 1030 on fucking... First of all, I don't make an appointment that says, oh yeah, it's going to be between noon and four. I'll show up sometime. No. If that happened, I wouldn't be successful, you fucking dunces. I, I, I'm sorry I'm talking about this so much, but motherfucker, you know also, if you have DirecTV, you know what's up, dude. 